Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's A.R. Wooly, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'll start out with the story. So about a week or two ago, I was playing Geometry Dash just casually in the afternoon during my um, lunch break from work, and everything was fine. You know, sky was blue, grass was green, you know, no problems, no issues. And I say, okay, I gotta go back to work um, so I turn turned off my geometry dash, right? Next thing I know, I log back on after work is over. I'm gonna work a little bit more on my solo project. Um, and lo and behold, I double click the geometry dash icon and nothing happens. I was like, wait a second, what? At this point, I was panicked. Honestly, I have two uh, 2,000 hours in this game. Um, if you guys know who know me, that's a lot of time for the short amount I've been playing. But anyway, 2,000 hours in this game, um, so that's a lot of my my life. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure I just lost all my stats and lost all my levels because they can't open. How do I get this to open? I go into panic mode. I start freaking out. I'm searching up all the different YouTube tutorials, all the Steam community posts, how-tos. I'm trying things left and right. Nothing is working. I'm crushed at this point. Honestly, I am just like, I can't believe it, it's all gone. I mean, like, I've got weeks and weeks of time into these creative projects, and they're just gone. Because I haven't uploaded to the servers, obviously, because I don't want them to get hijacked. I haven't been able to save my game recently because I've got, I don't know, like 50 different copyables of Artifice, um, you know, and Artifice has got like 220,000 objects. Yeah, rip me, I guess. I haven't been able to save in the last couple, probably a month, at least two months, and the last manual backup I made was probably at least two weeks ago. So I guess you could say it's my fault, I deserve it, but I hadn't lost hope yet. So the next thing I do, I use my 200 IQ and I get to work researching. After that long blown out story, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to share with you the one solution that worked for me when all other solutions I found on the internet did nothing to help me out. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go through all the solutions I tried because each one is a little bit more extreme than the last um and i not really extreme i guess but yeah i'm going to show you each solution the steps i took to try and recover my game files and at the end of the day i'll tell you it's a happy ending i got all my data back nothing was gone all my saves were there my copyables my um creative projects everything my stats i didn't even have to re-log in and it was honestly luck how i figured this out so i just wanted to share this with you guys anyway I haven't, like I said, I didn't find this tutorial. I literally found this out two weeks ago. I had no idea this is how it worked. Um, so this might be the one time I'm thanking Rob Top for actually having a good idea when it comes to making a game. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the methods that I tried and that did not work for me. So I've had this happen to me a few times before and one of these methods did actually work the first time. I don't know why it didn't work the second time. Um, anyway, so I will walk through each method that I tried unsuccessfully and then um, the towards the end of the video, I will show you the method that I tried that actually worked and was allowed me to recover my game data without losing a single second of progress. So. First things first, before we try any of these methods, you need to back up your data. I cannot stress this enough. Back up your data. All right, so for beginners, the first backup we're gonna do is on your texture packs, menu songs, things like that. So um, we're gonna navigate to our Steam um, file directly here so local disk C program files x86 come down here to Steam then go to Steam apps then we're gonna go to common then in the geometry dash folder we're going to click on this resources folder 
inside here is where your texture packs, your extra menu loops, um, death effects, particle effects, all that stuff lives. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to copy this folder, all right? And then I'm gonna open up another file explorer, navigate somewhere else on my PC, such as my local disk D, which is a secondary drive I have. And I'm going to, I've already made a location for this called Jamshash Backup. Here I've got a resources folder. I'm just going to paste this over the top and that's going to save all of my texture packs, menu loops, all that good stuff. So that's step one of backup. The next thing we're gonna do, go back to this file explorer. I'm going to type in up at the top in the search bar. This is a Windows 10 tutorial. It should also work for Windows 7 and 8. Um, if you're on mobile, I'm sorry, you're kind of out of luck. Um, I'm going to type in percent app data percent sign. Oh, that's percent app data. Nope. Percent app data. I'm going to hit enter. All right. Now we are in the local cache for um, my computer user in the app data. I'm in the roaming folder currently. This is not where Geometry Dash is located though, so I'm going to have to go up one folder by clicking right here. Then I'm going to navigate into the local folder, and I'm going to go down here to Geometry Dash. This is where all your songs are saved at, and then also the four horsemen of the apocalypse. When it comes to Geometry Dash save files, we'll scroll down here. CC Game Manager 1 and 2, and CC Local Levels 1 and 2. These are the most important files when it comes to Geometry Dash. They contain everything about your local profile. Um, so your stats, your saved levels, everything are in these four files. So what I did is I copied everything, Control A, Control C, pasted that into another file location, uh, like I showed you earlier. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do all your songs. Um, you can just do, but you have, you can just do these four files down here, or six or two, whatever you've got. Um, so CC Game Manager, one and two local levels, one and two. You need to copy those 100%. So I copy everything. Um, let me go back to this file location uh, in this backup data folder. I just paste it all in here. Bada bing, bada boom, backups are done. That's like super important if you want seamless um, transition back into your game without having to re, uh, you know, download texture packs or whatever. That's how you do it. Make sure you do a backup. Okay. Um, so anyway, the first method, let's minimize these windows. The first method was, um, verifying the game files on steam. So I found this method on a couple of different YouTube videos and a couple of steam forums. Um, and I tried it out. This is the method that worked for me the first time but it did not work for me this time. So what I did, double click Steam, I'm gonna go to my library here, and in Geometry Dash, I am going to right click over here on the left hand side, right click on it, go to properties, gonna open up this window, it says general updates and local files. We go over here to local files, I'm gonna click verify integrity of game files. So what this is gonna do is it's going to um, delete all the files that have been changed since you installed the game. So this will get rid of your texture pack. All right, wipe it out completely. So that's why we did the back of that earlier. Um, so this pretty much gets you back to, it's, it's sort of like an uninstall and reinstall without having to go through all that mumbo jumbo. Anyway, I did that, loaded the game back up, didn't, didn't, didn't work, didn't work. Um, because this does not delete your CC um, game data, uh, game manager and your CC local levels files. This only deletes like your resources and refreshes your exe file, all that good stuff. So yeah, that didn't work. Still was unable to open the game. Feels bad, man. All right. So the next method. All right. For the second method, what I uh, found on a steam community post was to run the game in compatibility mode. Um, so I'm running on a Windows 10 operating system. So I decided let's try and run it on a Windows 7 operating system, sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up File Explorer. I'm going to navigate to um, my local disk C. We're going back to the Steam directory here. 
locating the .exe or the application file for Jump Jash. Go to Program Files. Go to Steam. Go to Steam Apps. Go to Common. Go to Jump Dash. And then here uh, you'll see Jump Dash with the little icon that says Application right here. Right click. Go to Properties. From here, this you'll see a couple tabs. You're going to click Compatibility. From here, you'll see uh, Compatibility Mode. You see a checkbox. You click that, and then you can choose what operating system you want to run. So I've got options Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP 9895. So I said Windows 7 was my favorite operating system. I'm going to do Windows 7. I click that, and I click Apply, hit OK. And the post that I saw recommended a restart of my computer. Um, so I did a restart, trying to load it up, and wah, wah, nothing happened. Feels bad, man, once again. So that was method two that I tried. Um, so let's look at the next method. Uh, this was kind of a last ditch effort. I just went for a clean reinstall of John Dash. So to do that, double click on your Steam, Go to your library, uh, right click on Geometry Dash on the left hand side, go to properties, go back to this local files, and I just did uninstall. Click that, delete all my files related to Geometry Dash, re downloaded the game, reopened. Unfortunately, none of my save data was there. So I re imported my texture pack. From our backup, I re-imported my CC game manager files and my songs and all that mumbo jumbo from our backup that we did earlier, and it went back to not opening. Ugh. At this point, I was very frustrated. Um, so yeah, those are all the methods that I found on the internet that people have tried and said they work 100% of the time, GGWP. Um, so now I'm gonna talk to you about and show you the method that I figured out on my own that worked. Wow. All right, now time for the step or the method that I used that actually worked, allowed me to restore all of my game data without losing anything and allowed me to load up my game. It did not crash or anything like that. We're back to square one, we're happy. We are so happy that this worked. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to restore all of the files that we had from the backup. So you copied your resources folder. You're going to go ahead and paste that back in there. If you've done a clean reinstall at this point, paste that back in there to get your texture packs, your menu loops, all that stuff back. Then the next thing you're going to do is paste back in your CC game manager files, your local level files, and all your songs. If you copied those out, paste those back in your app, app data directory. Um, to get all that data back. So you should pretty much be back at square one. If you were to double click Geometry Dash right now, 99%, it's not gonna open. You're gonna, it's, you're back where we started at the beginning of this video, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is open up um, the app data folder. If you're not already there, percent app data, um, percent sign, hit enter, navigate up a level, go to local, then go to Geometry Dash. Okay, now we're all in the folder with the music and your CC game manager and your local level files. Okay, so this is all backed up. This is where you were before you started this video. What I'm gonna do next, make sure you still have this backed up by the way, you should. You shouldn't delete your backup even though you use it. Um, I am going to delete ccgamemanager.dat and CC local levels. Dot DAT. So all I should be left with is CC Game Manager 2.dat and CC Local Levels 2.dat. You might have more than four files to start with. Just delete CC Game Manager.dat and CC Local Levels.dat. Leave the other files. So from here, I've got two of those files left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over to Steam. I'm going to hit play. It's gonna think. It's gonna continue thinking. It's gonna think real, real hard. And then whammo, Geometry Dash is gonna open. And what do you know? That sounds like my menu loop song. I go over here to the left side. That looks like my profile. All my demons, stars, diamonds, coins, they're all there. Hmm. That's interesting. 
I'm going to, you know, hit the little hammer in wrench and we're going to go to create. Would you look at that? All my creative projects are still there. Wow, that's nice. All there. And this looks like my texture pack. I mean, you can see my, my uh, logo in the background there. There you have it. I didn't have to reload my profile or anything like that. We're back to how we were before everything <laughs> everything got corrupted and yeah. So that feels good, man. That is a huge feels good, man. So let's navigate back to this um, file explorer here. So we're, we're in the app data local geomchash folder. If we look right here, you remember we deleted CC game manager in CC local levels dat when we before we launched Yamchash. As you can see now, they've been regenerated. That's pretty cool. From my understanding, it looks like maybe Robtop had the great idea of allowing CC Game Manager 2 and local levels 2 to serve as sort of a backup in case something like this happens, but he just, you know, forgot to tell us. He got too busy or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty PogChamp. I'd never seen this tutorial on any Steam community post, on any YouTube video like that. This is never seen before. Just messing around the game files. Don't know how I figured this out, but I'm so glad I did because it saved me so much headache, so much pain and suffering. A lot of time, especially. So, that's pretty much it. We're, we're good. You know, everything's back to the way it should be. So I, I hope this method helped you out. Like seriously, I can't believe this worked and I am so, so happy. All right, that was the secret method. I hope you stuck around to the end of the video to watch that and learn what that method was. Um, it's actually not, not, uh, not too difficult. And maybe it was part of, uh, you know, Rob Top's design all along that those um, two files would serve as backups. Um, but he just never told us, who knows? We'll never know. But I was lucky, I figured it out. And I really hope this helps you because it is so frustrating to lose progress, even if it's only a few days worth. It's really frustrating and it can be crushing and just kill your motivation to do anything. Um, ruin your day, honestly, ruin your week, whatever. So hope this helps. Um, it definitely, definitely helped me out. So just wanted to pass along my knowledge this is AR Wooly. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more content. I try and find um, obscure videos like this to do because I figure that you know people really need information like this because this is like something critical that I feel like everybody encounters um, at least once or twice in their John Dash career. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. This is Air Wooly signing off. We'll see you later.